All right, guys. Um, we are continuing with um, circle theorem, but now we are going to talk about theorems, theorem one and theorem two. What we've been talking about before were properties, but now we're talking about theorem one and theorem two. But before we get that, I just want us to get to this um, concept here. It's uh, the exterior angle of a triangle. So say we have a triangle there. I think we've done it last year or probably you've done it in grade seven. So we know that A plus B plus Y is equal to 180. But now let us extend there. Hence I'm saying that it's exterior angle of a triangle. And this would be very, very, very important. It will come very handy, right? So let's say that is your X, right? You know that X plus Y is equal to 180. And what is my reason for that? It's straight line. Okay, my reason is straight line, sorry. Now, you know also that A plus B plus Y. A plus B plus Y is equal to 180. And the reason is angles in a triangle. That's your reason there, you see? And then now, 180 is equal to 180. Y is equal to Y, so X is equal to A plus B, okay? Or you can say, for this one, if you have to rewrite it, you can say Y is equal to 180 minus, oh, sorry, X is equal to 180 minus Y, and then this side, A plus B is equal to 180 minus Y, so if this side is equal to that, so therefore we can say x is equal to a plus b. So you would know that this is the exterior angle. Exterior angle. And that these are the two opposite interior angles. Two opposite. Two opposite interior angles. Hence this theorem comes from that. The angle, exterior angle of a triangle is equal to two opposite interior angles. So that means even if we have that triangle there and it extends there and you've got A, B and C, so A is equal to B plus, plus C, right? Okay, now with that knowledge, let's move on to this one. If in this case we have, this is what we have now, and we have two X, and we have um, x, or maybe let's not start there. Let's not start there. Let's start with dividing this half like that. And let's say that is a, that is 2a, that is b, that is 2b. Why, Mr. Malcolm, saying that? Are you saying that? Because here, there is your radius, there is your radius. So that means this triangle can be written as that triangle. But you know that is the same as that. If that is A, that is A also. So that will be 2A, yeah? So that is for this one. And for that one, it is the same thing. So the same A, that will be BB, and that will be, um, that will be A also. So therefore, what can we get from here? What can we get from here? So we can get that um, the angle that is A plus B is equal to what? A plus B is equal to 2A plus 2B, right? A plus B is equal to 2A plus 2B. So what does that mean? It means the angle inside, so A plus B is equal to 2 a plus B, but this A plus B, it is the angle at the circumference, and angle at the circumference. And then this one, it is the angle at the center, right? So what can we come up with here? 
So you can therefore say, the theorem you can come up with is, therefore the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference, right? I'm just talking about theorem one. The angle at the center here, the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So it's written like this. So therefore the angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference. Oh, Mr. Mike, does that mean that in every instance? Yes, in every instance. So you can have something like this. As long as you have the center and you have that angle there, let's say you have that angle that is like that there. And if that is x, if that is x, that will be 2x. So let's put values. If this is 130, so what will that one be? 65. And the reason is the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. I will stop here for this one. So you know that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference as long as, as long as there is a center. But look at something again. Look at something again I want you to look at uh, here when you are talking about theorem 1. Look here. You see this, this arc here? Yeah? It makes this angle. And also it makes that angle. Right? So it, it makes the angle at the center and it makes the angle, it, it subs, they substand from the same arc. They're substanded from the same from the same arc. So the angle at the center, as long as the other one is at the center, the other one is at the circumference, and they're substanded by the same what? By the same arc. And I think um, it's clearer from that point, and you'll have a lot of uh, examples to practice. Okay, sure.